Morning everyone, uh, as you can probably tell we're in the uh, sort of shack this morning. What we're doing today is uh, replacing one of my gates. Uh, it's just a simple uh, lace and brace gate but uh, it's going to be a little bit beefed up because uh, I don't like the the ones that you buy are a little bit flimsy for me so we're making one that's a little bit more heavy duty shall we say. Uh, I'll show you the old gate and then I'll show you what we bought uh, ready for the new one. Right this is the old gate that we're replacing uh, as you can see uh, I've seen better days uh, unlock it first the frame has had to be technically adjusted to make the gate fit but it's uh, it's all starting to rot and it's not done bad though I believe it's what is it about 22 23 year old I think so that's what we're that's what we're going to replace right this is what we've bought uh, to make the replacement gate uh, I'm not using the standard uh, touring groove with the V groove in what I'm using is floorboards number one the thicker a lot thicker than what you get these gates made out of uh, so hopefully it should last longer the only thing I've got to do is machine the V groove in both sides just to make it look fancy and then uh, we can get on making the gate uh, we've got 4b1 planed for the laces and 4x2s which are going to make our new posts and all being well all that lot should eventually turn into a gate Right, I don't know whether this will focus in on that or enough. Just set the router table up with a V cutter. And this is going to put our little or one half of the V groove onto our floorboard in. Right, just going to set the fence up now for the the router. Right, this router fence, like most of the stuff you'll see in, in the sort of shack is homemade. Uh, it uses the, the table saw fence and then I can fetch it right up to the workplace. Uh, we've got some uh, extraction on there. And we'll get that set up now and uh, get some V's cut in. Right, I think this is picking up. As you can see, what I've done is just set the fence uh, just over half of the router cutter. And that will give me half of the V that I need in one piece. Then we put the corresponding V in this side as well. And then that gives us the classic V groove.
Right, so what we've done, if it's picking it up properly, is I've readjusted the fence now. Because uh, obviously it was further away because he got the tongue on this end. Because we're doing the groove side. I've readjusted so that we're going to put the V in the opposite side now. So I'll run these through. I'm not going to film that, you've seen the other side being done. And then uh, we'll come back once I've got these done. Right, got all these done now, that's all eight of these done, got those grooves on both sides, so time now uh, just to sand them up a bit and then get a bit of paint on uh, in the groove and on the tongue so that when it goes together if the wood contracts and uh, expands you don't get that white line uh, where there where there's no paint that's the next job so we'll get that set up and I'll fetch you back right <clears throat> now we've got the uh, the grooves cut all we've got to do is the boring job of giving them a quick sand up unfortunately hand sanding It doesn't take much, the cutter does a, a fairly reasonable job of it. But it's a lot easier to do it now than what it is when the when the gate's all been put together. So it's, so it's a bit boring but it's uh, got to be done. Right. Normally I don't uh, I don't film these sort of things, but uh, my my grandson Caden he says, uh, "Come on, granddad, you've got to start filming them." So this is filmed for Grand uh, for Caden to watch. Right, one down, seven more to go. I'll fetch you back when these are sorted. Right, this is what I'm trying to avoid with the expansion and contraction of the wood you get these white lines where there wasn't any paint this is not a gate I made this is one that was bought so I couldn't paint in between before it went together so that's why I'm doing my gate slightly different right next thing we've got to do is uh, where this tongue is because I'm going to paint it before I put it together the thickness of the paint will stop it going into the groove I'm going to paint the tongue and paint the groove so I'm just going to run across here a few times with the rebate plane uh, just to take a bit of material off and that should give us enough to compensate for the paint. Now you only do this on one side and you do it on the same side of all of them. If not, you end up with your, uh, your joints offset. Plenty. You don't need to set much off. Like I say, it's just enough so that when you've painted that and you've painted inside the groove as well, it's not too tight when you put it all together. Right, I'll get the rest of them done and then I'll fetch you back when it's time to paint. Right. Now I've got all them planed up, out of the way. Now I've got all them planed up, I'm going to 
get some paint just on the tongue and the groove not only stops them um, white lines coming in when it uh, when it moves in hot and cold weather it also obviously gives you more protection in there so where the other gate I showed you earlier you can see the white that's bare wood so every time it rains that's just rotting quicker whereas this way at least you've got some paint on these edges so that when it does move and gives you that gap the water gets in it's still got some protection so it just makes your gate last a lot longer or door or whatever you decide you're making with this sort of thing uh, right uh, you don't need to stand and watch me paint so I'll uh, I'll bring you back when I've got this done right <coughs> we've got these now painted let me see we've just done the edges and inside the groove there now when that's dry you need to sand these bits off otherwise when it's all painted finally they'll them bits will show through even darker so once we've got them done that'll be tomorrow now start some assembly and start making the gate itself so we'll see you morning right morning uh, this is all dried now so what we're going to do is just sand these back so that we get rid of this bit of black off the faces need to do both sides so uh, get on with that uh, what we're using is uh, a dual action sander uh, or what's normally called a DA sander uh, very good very quick for getting material down so I'll show you how that goes and uh, I'll see you in a minute Right, so we've got that off, just leaving our edges painted so they're protected. It won't interfere with our top coat then when we give it the final the final coat. So I'll do the other seven and then, uh, then I'll fetch you back. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we've got all eight of them sanded up. So as you can see the front face is nice and clean and the tongue and the groove have got plenty of paint in them so now if there is any expansion when it's all together or uh, any movement at all or even if water gets down in between it's protected whereas on a gate that you buy because you can't get to them Obviously you can't paint them and that's where you get your white lines from But hopefully we're gonna uh, get round that by doing it this way Good morning everyone uh, Right This uh, this video I'm making uh, I'm making this gate uh, This is not this is not a tutorial or anything like that. This is just showing you how I 
have made the gate. But you, you can knock one of these gates up in about two hours uh, if you're not bothered about where your screws go, if you don't want to paint in between, if you don't want to sand them. Uh, but this is how I'm making my gate. I'm just showing you how how I'm doing it. Uh, if it's of use to anybody, then all well and good. If not, then it isn't. Like I say, it's not a how-to. It's just a quick, this is how I'm making my gate.